This is the build OGM call for Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. I sent out a poll about using my brain, which is not the topic I'd like to focus on for this call, but I thought I'd share the responses so far. <clears throat> um, four people have replied. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. I tried, so one of the comments back on how to improve the, the poll was, I don't really like forced choice, single choice radio buttons. And I did that pretty intentionally. I'm not a professional <clears throat> survey designer at all, but I was trying to, I tried to make these in a, I tried to make those single choice answers in a gradient. And I just kind of wanted to figure out where people are because I have a funny feeling that it's either bimodal or something. Um, so, uh, so I added an apology at the top to the intro to sorry for the forced choices, but I'm trying to like figure out where you land. Um, so this one's like mostly I've grown accustomed to his presence and then uh, nobody so far who actually goes and uses it individually. Uh, and then this one's split between these two middle ones, interesting but quirky web connections, a useful map. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, how do I find these thoughts again is sort of the, the, the thing that people think a bunch. Um, and then uh, one answer was not, again, this is distracting. Uh, so there's a little bit of information there. I think that'll be more interesting as it compounds. Uh, I don't know that many people that use jerrysbrain.com and maybe in this crowd, not so many, but one person added uh, an, an other choice, functional but not useful if I cannot curate my own brain or make my own notes. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't add, uh, maybe I should have added that to this question, but I did add it down further. You'll see there's a new question that I added because of one person's really good feedback. Uh, the best way to access Jerry's brain is uh, with Jerry as a guide, so with, with Jerry as a guide, screen shared uh, by myself, starting from a direct link, and by myself through Jerry'sBrain.com. Uh, so that's breaking kind of sort of evenly around that. The value is the big. The winners here are exploring context and connections and hearing stories uh, with Jerry's brain as a visual aid. Uh, and then this is the new question. Uh, and I think somebody's just answering, oh, we're at six now. It's two people just answered the poll. Wow, okay. Uh, as, as we were sitting here, because I just like two minutes before this call, I sent it to the full OGM list. So we're gonna see some live responses come in, which is, I, I like Google Forms. Um, <clears throat> so here we have uh, more one-on-one -on -one time with Jerry Screen, sharing a QA and a group call, reviewing tips and tricks, uh, more explainer videos, a way to provide feedback on how to organize, a way to provide suggested additions to my to the brain, a way to add personal, and this is the one I added because of the other <clears throat> uh, the other new uh, answer. Uh, working towards interoperability with other platforms and notifications on significant updates. And then uh, this is here's the feedback that caused me to add that question. And then here's the feedback uh, about not liking radio buttons to enforce one choice. And if you feel strongly that I should delete the radio buttons and make those multiple guess, I mean, multiple check, I'm happy to change it. But I'm, I think in survey design, too many, too many, if, I, if everybody answers all over the place, you don't really get very much information. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to sort of narrow that. And then here's who's uh, answered so far. So Todd Hoskins, uh, this is uh, Wendy McLean. Uh, this is some nice person named Stacy, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there we go. And let's go to the top to see what the new answers are. So here we have one answer. I seek it out <clears throat> myself to look things up, come in. So this one's still split on only two answers. Cool. Well, this should be more interesting as the day goes on. And I'll stop the screen share. <clears throat> Thoughts, questions? Mark, are you hearing us properly now? Awesome. Nothing like kicking the machine. Um, yes, yeah, uh, basically dropping it on the floor and <laughs> seeing what happens. Isn't that, um, isn't that why they call it a reboot? <clears throat> yes, um, <laughs> I put my boots on and gave it a good kick. Um, let's see. Um, the uh, interesting. Uh, so I I didn't hear you know the introduction and and. Uh, 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 criteria and uh, uh, purpose, but uh, the uh, the term that I did see that hit me was I have a different habit space. 
and and that's still rolling around <clears throat> in my head. Um, uh, but I, I would like to know. Um, I, I I guess you know why um, why why the survey why the I, I, so at the Internet Archive, we are trying to figure out what the core experience is and and basically, you know, do the, you know, be the um, UX designers, the uh, user experience designers we're supposed to be, although really we're just a bunch of programmers. <laughs> Do you have anybody who's like UX specialized on the team? Um, there is, and and certainly, you know, I have an interest, and I think everybody has an interest, but but really, um, uh, I, um, I I think we we need a, a, a deeper focus on. Um, And what is the kind of, of experience that that people are looking for? Um, maybe that people need, and maybe that we can steer them to that they don't know they need. Um, right. And and it's very difficult. Um, it's very it's a very difficult question. And I'm wondering, you know, how that type of question is being asked and answered by the survey. Um, um perhaps i i think there's so you, you're down a good path mark but <laughs> it seems like a path um um it seems like a, a path that's not obviously obviously the one that I, I maybe there's other paths to have gone down before that even um so it, it's a it's a good exploration. That's that's what you do when you're you're talking about a, a, a utility site or something like that. That people, a, a site that has utility that people need and want and et cetera et cetera. I think there's a preceding question: um, What is this thing Jerry's bringing to the world? What is it to Jerry? What is you know can can Jerry make it more useful to to more people? Um, is that use as a reference material? Is it as an interactive thing? Is it a community? Is it you know, how does it how does it overlap and and um, not overlap with with existing offerings? Um, uh, uh, let me just put a couple of things in, Stacey, and then I'll go to you. Um, Mark, uh, why is there actually a great question? And Pete is getting right at it. Um, I'm reminded of the day that Lotus announced Lotus Notes and that Notes came into the world and nobody had a freaking clue what to do with it, how it worked, what to do. IBM and Lotus had a really hard time explaining it until they didn't and until everybody was like on Lotus Notes. And then IBM was on Lotus Notes way too long and missed like internet mail and all that kind of stuff. But, but Notes had this mystery like, what's this group wear thing? And ah, it's kind of itchy and uncomfortable and so forth. And so I'm trying to kind of explore the, the brain space in, in that spirit and with that goal kind of, of just figuring out uh, like, where's the value? What is it? And partly then to explain for pictures brain, like where the value is, like to find language to say, hey, this is, this is what you could get and you know, what's going on here. So there's a practical piece for me, which is I want to stand up Pictory's brain right now and start like earning, earning a living, uh, sharing my brain out for people who've got interesting questions, right? Um, but then Mark, you're also reminding me of what you brought into the conversation when I first presented this poll to, the, to, to I think, uh, Free Jerry's brain, um, which was, hey, for you and me, the use of these tools has changed our lives. And, and, and also, if we manage to create some kind of shared hive mind, that's going to be a different experience. And I don't think I'm getting, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hinting towards some of those things when I say a taste of the future collective mind or something like that in one of the radio buttons or one of the answers. But really, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pop open that conversation or that question. And I think it's important. So I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm missing that entirely. And then I think it was Jack Park who said, these were all very brain centric questions. And I added an apology at the top that, said, that says now, 
sorry, you know, I'm, I'm trying to focus here on the brain use. There's a bunch of other really interesting questions to pursue about other tools and, and, and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to actually be pretty focused about this thing. Um, and now back to Stacey and then to Mark. Yeah, I just wanted to say real quick that what I see when I look at all those answers is overall a desire to become more interactive with the brain, whether it, they can add something or some sort of input mechanism. And, and at my, <clears throat> the question I just added has a lot of what you just said, Stacey, and I wasn't, I was trying to think within the constraints of the brain and basically, you know, asking, hey, I'd like to be able to take my own notes and add them. <clears throat> it's like, not a feature of the brain. And so I was kind of limiting my, my own questions, I think maybe too much, but, but my goal is here not to present the brain with a list of feature requests, which I think will be hopeless. Um, although this could turn into OGM platform design criteria, which is awesome, except we don't have an OGM platform design team. <clears throat> um, so far, we're, we're pretty uh, haphazard about that. Um, Mark, did you want to come back in about any of the stuff I brought up? Oh, uh, sure. And, um... and, one, and one thing I wanted to add in briefly, I wrote in the chat catacombs tours. Uh, there might be some silly, strange uses for the archive that get more usage and then acquaint people with the tools and then do whatever. And I, like people go to Notre Dame, well, when they reopen it again, I guess, but other churches, and they go crawl under and watch the skulls and everything else. And for me, for me, um, <clears throat> the Internet Archive is like a tell. And, and the people who man it are sort of archaeologists uh, of, of, of information and history and data and, and sort of docent tours of the archive through whatever um, area you wanted or even having a, co a coterie of, of docents who you love uh, uh, and who get tiny stipends for doing so or something would be fantastic, would be super interesting. And I think might increase awareness usage and notoriety because if you actually said this is like a catacombs, like making it a little bit strange uh, makes it attractive and interesting. I love that. Um, and I, I agree and people have, uh, have brought that up before uh, about oh, cool. the archive. Um, and, you know, I, you can imagine I have the same or similar, if not the same, uh, problem with the um, software that I've written. Um, you know, I, I brought it to VCs and they go, you know, um, what's the benefit? And well, I guess it improves or deepens the quality of inner life, you know, in some way it's like okay how do i sell that <laughs> and well certainly you know these kinds of experiences are valuable but um it's not you know the it's not the sale it's the experience and in terms of a larger brain um participation but but certainly you know the way i put it is I have a solution and I have no idea what the problem is. Um, and uh, yeah, boy, I, I certainly don't want to discourage any kind of exploration in terms of you know, how to articulate um, uh, or even, you know, improve, um, you know, an explanation. I just know that in my case, I'm the only user and I need to get five users. <laughs> you know? but, and once but, I get five users, I'll get seven yeah, yeah. users and, and, uh, and go on from there. Um, but, you know, software is uh, something that I'm uh, happy to put off in, in lieu of actually using it and reading things and, you know, typing things in and uh, yeah, it's just, um, habit, a different habit. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know, I, I, I met with uh, Kevin, um, I forget Kevin's name. Jones? Yes, Kevin Jones. And he goes, it doesn't sound like your, you know, your goal is shipping. <laughs> I thought that was an astute comment. Yeah, it's an astute comment, Kevin. <laughs> And he was showing me his, uh, you know, um, uh, network diagram 
where everybody's connected with circles and lines. The Ziggy map or um, something like that. Yeah, I think yeah. it was the Ziggy map. Yeah. But um, I, I need to find the survey um, as I haven't uh, haven't seen it yet. I, it, I just sent it to the OGM, the broad OGM list. And I okay. also sent I also sent it. I put it on the. I think the build the, the free jury's brain list uh, channel on Mattermost, and then I sent it to a bunch of people. I think, including you, Mark, last night over email. Ah, okay. So you might you might see two different versions from me in your email. It's all right. Just just woke <clears throat> up and have a big day at work today, so uh, um, I'll eventually get to it. Um, and and yeah, I, I I'm trying to both emphasize. Em be empathic <laughs> mm -hmm. empathize. and um, and really go, aha, well, what is it that Jerry wants to happen? And I'm sure, you know, it's been said before in many ways, um, but to try and um, come up with an understanding of that in order to ship. Um, and certainly, you know, I've, I've got tons of coding to do. Um, and after thinking about this for 30 years, tons of ideas that haven't really been articulated, um, in a public space. Mm -hmm. Um, I am, it's very interesting to me that I'm taking a group, uh, a class right now, um, restarting with the lyceum.institute group a group of Thomas Catholic philosophers who um, basically want to improve the world by philosophy. And I'm taking a semiotics of culture course. And there is a uh, um, Estonian Soviet um, uh, philosopher, semiotician named Yuri Lotman, who has the notion of semiosphere, which is like the newosphere, um, but also you know, kind of the collection of all cultural, it's like the global mind, it's like extended mind. Um, uh, but when I went to the Wikipedia for Semiosphere, it was the craziest Wikipedia page I've ever seen. I highly suggest it. It's out there. It has pataphysics. It has uh, everything but vampires. <clears throat> so like the Wikipedia page for which, for which thing? Semiosphere. <laughs> Semiosphere. Cool. I'll put it up. Thanks. Um, and Lyceum Institute is the one I just, the link I just shared in the chat? Um, yes. It's, cool. it's, it's a very interesting group. Um, and I, you know, I, I wish they had uh, more, uh, more people, but it's, as a uh, you know, former Catholic, it's a lot of fun to encounter, um, you know, what is the umwelt of, of angels um, being discussed, um, which um, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, but they're but they're also serious um, semioticians. So uh, it's it's a great course. Love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, anyone else with thoughts on this question? Otherwise, I'd love to shift to a different topic. Um, I'm assuming the question is uh, sort of coming off of your email and the brain and, um, and, and I'm gathering Mark's um, thoughts about uh, shipping, um, you know, relate. Um, and uh, the one thing I was just gonna say is I was struck in, in doing the poll, I, I did it, you know, just as, as we were getting started um, that there really are two separate issues in there is like, how can, can Jerry's brain best benefit you, the, the poll taker and us in general, and then, um, what can I do with my brain and my, you know, as, as, a, as a resource to benefit me. 
Um, and it was a little, it was a little, I felt a little, in answering the questions, I felt a little cold to you because I was addressing the first rather than the second. And, you know, I kind of, I kind of almost felt like I'd like to take it again, you know, for your sake. Um, Cause that, that's always an interesting thing. And I put a link in the, uh, in the chat to a talk uh, that, a guy who I work with in, by a CTA um, named Ollie Breen, who um, did a presentation, very, very researched. I haven't even finished the whole thing. It's quite long, but 25 minutes into this uh, YouTube um, meeting, he's talking about um, how we, basically how, why we silo our efforts and what is holding us back from um, collaboration, even with the, the best intent. Um, and it's, it's really interesting. And I think, you know, food for thought for all of us, um, that was for me. So I just want to share that. That's Thank you. And, and, and the survey is consciously focused on my brain value from my brain to others. Um, and only hints at, gosh, I wish I had a brain or anything like that, or anybody using a different tool in a couple places. It kind of only comes in there a little tiny bit. So you're right. Uh, you're very right about its, its focus in that way. Uh, you're muted. Sorry. I don't know if I follow you that in your mind, which was it focused on? Like uh, it's my, in my brain, particularly not anybody else, anybody else creating like, a brain or anything like that. Yeah. No, no, I know. But I mean, the, 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 um, duality I was talking about was your brain plus you as as a resource versus um, your brain sends you. Well, I'm trying to tease that. I'm trying to tease that out yeah. in one or two of the questions where I'm like, "Hey, the best way is with me or without me or, or whatever else." And I may not have asked those very well because. I was, I was trying also to ask that without me, my brain is like unusable. I can't figure it out. And, and there's like some people who are totally happy to go probe my brain without me. And then they'll send me a question and say, hey, I noticed this isn't in your brain or could you elaborate on this or whatever? I get those, right? right. But, but, but then there's a bunch of people who like just bounce off it entirely and, and only enjoy it if I'm busy screen sharing and giving a tour or, on, or maybe recorded as well. I don't know. Got it. Okay. And, there's, and there's also this, this, there's this interesting difference between only useful when I'm there interactively in person real time versus if I just made like a little video a day, would that be an interesting thing to, to absorb? So any other thoughts on this? Cool. Um, thank you for the help very much. I'll keep reporting back. Uh, it's fun to see uh, and do and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm really interested. Uh, I'm really interested in how we organize ourselves around some of the energy that's bubbling up around our ODM conversations, uh, around uh, Grace and her quest on money, and the broader quest about money, value, etc. Uh, around Sam Rose and the Civil War conversation, and this idea of how do we weave? How do we um, actually? Uh, how do we do the work of OGMing, right? How do, how do we make this a, a verb that people understand, that people are like consistently interested in, uh, those sorts of things? And what does that turn into functionally? How do we, you know, it feels like a very, very build OGM kind of question to, to go in more detail in those areas and offer back to our group um, a little more structure on what this means. Please. Hey, I've got two other topics as well that Please. I'd like to make sure that we hit before the end of the call. One of them is very likely, do we sunset the discourse server? Mm -hmm. or do you want to say what the other one is? Uh, yeah. Um, I think it was Rob O'Keefe had a great idea um, about um, kind of a, a periodic, regular update kind of email blog post thingy. Um, and I wanted to talk about that. Sounds great. Uh, anybody with preferences on the three topics on the table? Um, let's let's um, let's talk about the discourse server because I think we can sort of 
answer that question relatively quickly, and it's kind of a nicely bounded question. Um, and I haven't jumped into that conversation. And, and it, when I jump in, it's going to be like mea culpa, mea culpa. Like I think one of the reasons the Discourse server is, is hasn't got any life is that I've been overwhelmed by it. Like I, I can keep up with um, our Mattermost and our our, ma our mailing list, and then whenever I go and try to dive into the Discourse server, I I, I I'm not good generally with threaded forums and trying to find my way and then and then make it make a good comment at the end because the time it takes to actually read a thread remember what was said and go back and post at the end i've been distracted four times by other sorts of things so that that format is really hard for me but i really value it and i like that you started it and it feels to me like maybe when 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 we set it up it was like a bridge too far or I could have found a different way to motivate myself to go in, but I'm, I'm relatively certain that m because I'm kind of the spark uh, of OGM that my not, my not inhabiting it and answering questions and helping organize it is a big reason why it's, uh, it's not picked up its, its own energy, uh, although certainly not exclusively, and there's a bunch of people who love that kind of forum and, and could make it into a fruitful zone. Am I close to what you're thinking, Peter? Um maybe um the let me um and and actually the I, I have to say the money discussion on the mailing list would be so much better on on a forum um so uh for for me the question of how we got here is interesting and i would love to talk about it and it's not super important um <laughs> i wish it were but it's not um uh the the presenting situation is that um, the forum software needs to be up, updated. Um, I haven't been tending it. Um, Bill Anderson, bless his, bless his heart, um, has been actually logging in once in a while and you know approving people or, or disapproving people. We got a, an interloper who didn't seem like he should be there and, and we decided to kick him out. So the thing is, you know, it's it's come kind of a zombie, um, a zombie knowledge uh, information system. Um, but it's it has seemed reasonable to just kind of let it sit there and and be itself for a while and see what happens. Um, it's now to the point where the software needs to be upgraded because uh, there's a security, you know, vulnerability. Um, the 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 bad thing that could happen is somebody could potentially I, I think actually what they would do is somebody could maybe um, take over the server and start crypto mining or something on it. Um, I don't think uh, anybody's information is at risk. I don't think any any pers uh, people are at risk. It's just you know um, it's a, a server with attack services surfaces and um, the attack surfaces need to be. Um, remediated mm -hmm. <clears throat> not super 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 urgently but you know soonish so um so one choice is to is is for the sysadmin crew me probably uh to go in and, and update the software and you know make it all better again um and if you want we can budget something from the rut funds rut family foundation funds to do that yeah um not you know kind of not an unreasonable path to choose um the the path that i like so far and the forum facilitation team uh which is bill and me and rob and charles and jerry i think um uh, we haven't heard from jerry yet but the rest of us have kind of gone with my other suggestion which is to turn the thing off to um uh figure out how to make the information available on web pages, at least um, static web pages. Um, it would probably not be pretty. It would probably be searchable by Google. Um, you know, it would be um, not ideal, but not bad. Um, the, and the, there's a kind of a, an obvious question to me, which is, well, why don't you just leave it there and make it read only, right? Mm -hmm. Because that would fix it. And that, doesn't, that doesn't fix it. That doesn't fear the vulnerability. Yeah. Um, so so we really have to like take the information and suck it out and like splat it someplace, and it's gonna look it's gonna be harder to navigate. Which is but, also which is also work. Well, you know that was part of that was part of the technical debt I I uh, um I purchased when you know setting the thing up in the first place. So mm -hmm. that's fine. <clears throat> um, anyway, so 
kind of the proposal on the table is to um, preserve the information in static web pages somehow uh, and maybe as a file um, maybe in maybe if it works out and it's not too hard maybe also in a way that could be um, unzipped back into a discourse server should we ever want to does it have um, an archive sure format it would, um, it's yeah you can do a backup yeah um, uh, so anyway um, uh, kind of mechanically the mechanical parts of that is it's like well you'd probably want to make sure everybody knows that it's going away or that we intend for it to go away unless there's a hue and cry that like oh my god it's such an amazing resource and we should keep it um so that's kind of the thing um uh, so two quick comments um one is i had it hadn't occurred to me to shift the money conversation onto discourse i was very interested in probably creating a new channel for it on mattermost because i'm just used to mattermost and it seems to be a place and, and i'm liking also that i think other organizations are going to start using your server yep. and to me to me mattermost is like the long hallway that connects a bunch of different organizations because you can go browse the public channels and join other people's conversations and that i think is going to be fruitful in, in the long run um and and so one avenue here is to say hey let's give discourse one last swing i've created a forum for this conversation about money value currencies uh wealth etc and let's see if we let, let's see if that works and and you know that probably also implies uh doing the upgrade um right um and i don't know if you or, or others are interested in doing that I could I could see if if I only had to be worried about one forum that that would be a, that would be actually a good way for me to get uh, accustomed to it, and then and then also forum conversation feels like a limited version of the big fungus to me. It's like it's it's good and it's interesting, and I know that discourse forums are a kind of state of the artish in in that realm. Like they're really good, um, but they don't feel like the fungus that much. Um, they feel like the conversation that should thread around the fungus and sort of be connected into the fungus in some sense, if that makes sense. Um, anyone else with thoughts? And Mark, thanks for answering that question for Stacey. Um, <clears throat> so this was something I don't think I was aware of. Um, and of, the, of this server? Yeah, I don't, yeah. and. Uh, I think I've tried Discord and kind of said, eh. This is uh, this, Discord. This is, this is not, not Discord. Discord. Ah, um, well, perhaps. Um, Discord uh, is actually a different interesting question because Discord is very much like Mattermost. And Discourse is more like the well. Huh, OK. Yeah. yeah. Um, although it sounds like you're still not familiar with it. Still not familiar with it, yes. Um, and so. There's the link to it. Oh, oh, maybe. No, no, I have been there. Okay. And and yes, um, it seemed like an interesting place. It's just, you know, there's three different places. There's the email, this forum, and Mattermost, and and the wiki. <laughs> and the wiki, yes. yes. And 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 I think Pete's calls. Pete's and, wishes, um, Pete's wishes early on were to deprecate the mailing list. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a huge fan of things that show up in your email. Like you, I pay attention to an answer all the time. So I kind of wanted to keep that going. But yes, we have like four different places. I mean, and, I would say. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, yeah, and and this is an interesting test case when it comes to the notion of integration. Boy, is integration difficult and weird. Um, does everything that happen on the forum and. Uh, matter most um get sent by email or you know there's notification settings and people can choose that i would imagine it's simply yes. huh how do we how do we integrate when it comes to various information systems i don't know anybody who solved that problem um, I don't know if there's a good explainer. I haven't seen it, Pete. I haven't seen a good explainer out there about the differences between mailing lists, chat, servers, forums, and other kinds of things. The, the question Stacey just I, asked. In the I chat. haven't seen a, a great explainer, but um, and 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 it's funny. My you know my my fallback stuff is like, well, you've seen a bulletin board system, right? Well, you've seen. <laughs> You've seen the well, right? You've seen 
um, all, all the stuff that's been dead for 30 years or whatever. Um, <laughs> it's how people give directions in Boston. It's like <laughs> you go to the roundabout and you turn right where the Walgreens used to be. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, Stacey, it's a great question. Uh, uh, discourse is set up for kind of, it, one of one of the, um, uh, one of the axes, maybe a couple of different axes for different things. Um, there's how long the messages are, like how, you know, like how long, they how long, long it takes to read it. Or tweets. Um, and then another one is how, um, how immediate it is. Um, so uh, email is kind of an immediate thing and the messages can get long. Um, and and there's another thing about email. It's it's it was designed for a different use than than the email lists today use it for. So it's got some problems. Like the subject line is always kind of meaningless. Um, there's no index to what discussions are going on under you know whatever the you know there's a money call coming up. That's the the subject line okay. of all the discussions that we've had about money. Right. You could actually separate those out into different threads. Um, uh, another thing about email is that each of the messages is carrying along all the replies for all the things. So literally, if you go into one of those messages, each message mm -hmm. is a duplicate of the whole thread, kind of from a different point of view from everybody, right? So um, forum software, um, Discourse is a forum, kind of solves most of those problems. Um, it makes a discussion space. It allows long messages. <clears throat> it it is it's on the web so it's a website um so it's a lot easier to go back and read through things um a month later six months later two years later five years later it's on the web so it's searched by google so if somebody not in ogm um googled up you know grace money or um, some some of the things that came up, you know, money and blockchain and blah blah blah, they might actually start hitting on the forum software. That's another good thing. Um, uh, it's a discourse. The forum software just allows more kind of surface area for. It's it's like it's like the ability to have a bunch of email discussions of in, in different topic areas, right? We could be talking about money. We could be talking about regenerative agriculture. We could be talking about um social good and and the capitalist system and all of that stuff is pretty easy to find it's pretty easy to navigate it's pretty easy to to read through threads that are that have been sitting there for you know a day or a week or a month how is that different than matt can't we do that on mattermost too or um, what's the difference mattermost mattermost if you if you had a slider um forum software is kind of like reading books and magazines and if you move the slider more towards text messages, but not all the way to text messages, you get Mattermost. So Mattermost is something where a little thing is going to pop up and say, Pete, you've got two or three things to read, you know, right now. Um, and it help, helps keep me helps keep track of that stuff. And things are sorted into topic areas, but not really into threads. Um, so there is a, a blockchain channel on, for instance, a blockchain channel on Mattermost, um, or there's um, there's the Build OGM channel on Mattermost, and you see you know things pop up, but it's it's kind of like a text message um, or WhatsApp or or something like that if if you know WhatsApp. Um, it's it's a little bit of conversation back and forth, but anything that happened more than a few days ago has scrolled off, and I could find it if I if I know how to search it, um, but I'm probably not going to find it. So if we had a discussion about money, for instance, um, you'd get this rich and and easier easier to follow and more rich conversation right in the moment, and for a couple of days before and a couple of days after, and then after that, the whole thing kind of gets hazy and fuzzy and falls away. So another another um, uh, another slider would be memory, right? Um, a discourse forum is is super good at memory. It's going to remember things for years, and you'll be able to find it super easily. Mattermost can remember things for a few days, literally. And after that, it's kind of like, uh, I don't remember. Email is kind of this weird mishmash of like, probably I can find it if I do a search in my, my inbox. Um, but I'm probably not, I can't browse through it. I can't, you know, find um, 
discourse, the forum software, you can go back and when we were operating 2020 or whatever, um, you can see all the things that we we're talking about and you can just browse through them in your email inbox, in your mailing list. It's like, I don't know what we were talking about a year ago or two years ago. You know, I think there was a money conversation. I think we talked about, you know, whatever, but there's no way to find it, right? Um, the forum software just makes that trivially, beautifully easy to do, so. So I just I would uh, really, really brief point, sort of, I think reality check. Um, I think it's interesting that Slack ate the business world and people are sort of more or less happily on Slack cooperating, reducing one thinks maybe a bit of the email, which was part of the pitch of social text was like, get rid of some of your email. Uh, but Slack has really caught fire and, and, and its plugins make it really functional because you can get data from your different you know, services across the enterprise, which is a different conversation. But co corporations are not sitting, talking in threaded discussions that I know of almost anywhere. Like it, it hasn't really uh, caught fire. And then Stacy's adding like Facebook and I'm assuming kind of Facebook group structure, which has caught fire as well. And, and is, is, is Facebook groups more like Mattermost slash Slack? Is that kind of the- I, I would say Facebook groups is a little bit more like, it's more like a forum than Mattermost, I think. Huh, but I don't, see, I don't think of like threads and- It doesn't have the, yeah, it doesn't have the information management features yeah. of, of a yeah. forum. Uh, but, so the, the, but they're so very popular. The, the stock thing, so in a company, you need a way to walk around the, the, the virtual floor of the company and from cube to cube, right? You have to go tell somebody, um, yo, today is the day I need that thing from you, right? Or by the way, um, in two weeks, we're going to have, you know, a, a big, uh, the big pitch, right? Where's your status on the big pitch? So you need, you need a chat system like Mattermost or Slack um, just to understand what's going on in your company. Um, kind of across the board, people don't, don't remember things. People, people have an oral culture. They don't have a, a written culture. Um, it's, it's odd when, you know, when we get to either the storytellers who have, who hold the memory for the tribe, um, or, you know, it, now that, now that I think about it, I don't even know how books work because <laughs> people just don't like, um, uh, but anyway, the, you know, like, I, I guess people, people read books, but they don't participate in books. They don't have a written culture. They don't like, you know, write stuff into the memory of the, the tribe. Um, that's for, you know, specialists. Um, so it, it doesn't, it, so it doesn't surprise me that Slack is the thing that, that business likes and a memory system like, you know, an intranet or a wiki or a forum thing is not, not what happens because most people don't participate in written culture. They just don't. Um, Michael, thank you for being patient. Sure. Um, well, I just in, in terms of the difference, <sighs> sorry, I wanted to speak to that. And also the thing that's missing to me um, and, and, you know, somewhere between somewhere between Jerry's brain and a forum, there's the idea of something that really is built around your access to the, the archival information and is accretive, not necessarily sequential. I mean, though, though it could be searched that way, um, that, you know, takes individual posts and lets them be accessed by, I mean, it, it's kind of hard, like you can't, if you're interested in a subject and you're looking at a forum, it's not like you can say, show me all the posts that are tagged this or that are from, with, with some bulletin board software, you can say, show me everything from this person. Um, but, you know, it's this kludgy jumping into a middle of conversation, jumping out. It's not really an information access uh, it's not built for information access. It's built for ongoing discussion. Well, would you I, say? I, I mean, think I disagree. Well, I mean, if you <laughs> wanted all the information, I did them, use a, a trigger word. I, I used trivially, which sure, sure, no. But, but could we could we look at the OGM forum real quick and poke around a little bit? Oh, for, I mean, I have, and for sure, I mean, it's a forum and it's a good forum. I mean, it's a sleepy forum at the moment, but you know, it. I, I mean, I'm I'm. I'm pro forum. 
I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm just adding to the conversation that for, for kind of Stacy's sake, yeah. you know, like that there's this other thing that, you know, is more expressed by, uh, you know, depending on how people use it, uh, a notion, uh, you know, Evernote, a factor, uh, Jerry's brain, all in different ways are about contextualizing pieces of information in different, in different ways um, for access and, you know, sort of non-sequential, non, that, that, that forums and Mattermost, forums and chat, real-time chat are both sequential things that may have like links within them and kernels of stuff that you would like want to search for on their own, but are built for an ongoing, some somewhat organized conversation. I mean, to 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 flower, and that's awesome, and we need that. Um, yeah, I was, I was just looking for looking for a discussion of the other thing, the other things that that lie between Jerry's brain and um, yeah, sounds, more, sounds like a Twilight Zone. They're more, they're more databasey, and and like when when you were describing a forum, it sounded like you were saying Mattermost is a sequential chat forum is more like a database, you know, easily searchable. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> if, I if, if I back. may, in, unless there are objections, let me share um, screen on, on uh, and the I, forum. I, and I didn't expect this topic to eat our, eat our call, so. <laughs> yeah. I should have known better. Um, but here's, you know, here's the way the forum looks. And so uh, imagine, imagine what you can find in the OGM list from uh, 2021, right? A year ago, half a year ago, something like that, right? Um, would you be able to say that, you know, oh, there's a conversation about OGM as a complex adaptive social system um, or, you know, um, uh, or how we deal with newcomers at OGM. So just from the, the home page, you know, there's a bunch of stuff I can, it just falls out of looking at the page like here's a bunch of stuff that we were talking about, God knows how long ago, right? And then, um, you know, and then diving into these things, it's like, oh, wow, you know, here's a conversation. So imagine like, like, so right here, I can visualize like a hundred times much more stuff than I could in the email archives, right? And then on any one of these things, I can click into it and here's a nice thread that I could just read, right? <laughs> um, and, and then there's probably the, the browse things. I can go see what Tony has talked about everywhere, not just here, right? Um, uh, or I could search, I could search for money. Here's a bunch of, you know, can you do this in your email list? Probably not, right? Um, how about currency instead, right? So, so it, we, as I said earlier, we could use the money <laughs> conversation to see if we can't like do CPR on the forum. Yeah, is that, is that I, I think that's it's a it's a, a good suggestion to bring up. Um, uh, but in in practice, in reality. Um, uh, it's not that we haven't, it, the, the problem is, the problem is, is one of accessibility, right? The forum is essentially not accessible to people who are used to the mailing list. Um, Mattermost is, you know, barely accessible to many of the people on the mailing list. There's a bunch of people in the money thread on, on the OJ mailing list who have an account on Mattermost and they don't use Mattermost, right? So what, what we've found over the past couple of years is that people get used to their information system, whatever the sliders, you know, they, they like, um, and they, they get an ingrained practice of, you know, I get up in the morning, I read whatever it is I read, Twitter or my email inbox or a forum system or Discord or whatever, Mattermost. And that's 
pretty much what I'm going to continue to do. So um, it it would be an interesting, it, it wouldn't be interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, it would be a valiant effort uh, to try to revive the forum. I, I think I, I think it's not. So are we agreed to sunset it? Um, I think, yes, I am. Anybody want to argue for its survival? <laughs> well, I think this is this is ironic because I think what I was saying came off as an attack on it. I, I see the value. I see the value of it, I, and I think it's a good thing. I'm just I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for the library where that's more the meeting hall. It's looking definitely the, you're looking definitely, for the definitely a thousand yeah. times better than the email chain, which is a disaster. You're, looking, I, you're wishing for the big fungus is what huh? you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, oh. sorry it, it, I'm sorry to make you feel like you, <laughs> whatever, Michael. The, the, so, so another thing that I kind of know about the forum is we've had a bunch of discussions about whether or not we should have a, a wiki as well as the forum, right? So the amazing thing about discourse is not only is it fairly organically it, it organizes itself pretty well yeah. but it's super super easy to have a, a small team which we still have amazingly enough ogm still has a forum facilitation team who would swing into action and do stuff um but for structural reasons you know nobody gives a shit um uh it's super easy to to uh, take discourse and groom it into a library as well as a as a meeting hall. It's amazing like that. You know, you could you could start you could have a, essentially a wiki that's easier for most people to use inside discourse, right? You could have a notion that's easier for most people to use inside discourse. It takes a tiny bit of gardening, but it's a really small amount of gardening. It's you know, it's easy and fun and and useful and so, so we we had that discussion about OGM forum. You know, should this be the wiki rather than than NASA wiki? <laughs> but but your point is taken. Um, it it is first and foremost. It's a, a meeting hall. And and I, I'm like I've never known it since I've been involved. You know, about a year. Never been pointed to it as where the action was to the degree that I was toward Mattermost. For sure. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> so I, I sort of, you know, given what you say about, about discourse, I'm sort of sad to see it go before I really got a chance to try it and, and wonder about the push thing. At the same time, I, oh, I hear what you're saying, Pete, that like, oh my God, you know, it's going to be a bunch of work to try and rekindle this, which could fail anyway. And do we want to go down that road when it seemingly hasn't worked? Um, I, so, there's there's uh, actually not that much work involved, um, and I'm I'm down to do that. And I think probably a, a good chunk of the forum facilitation team would be. Um, it's what we found out is that it's very unlikely to be successful because. It's it's not you know it's not the way people think it's not the way people want to interact it's not you know I don't know that it's not the way people think I think that it takes some, uh, some discipline and some group some group crafting work totally, to, get, to totally get in there fair. and do yeah it. I think I, it's do, I think it's doable there are some very successful discourse communities out there having a very fun time with a power tool it's just that it's just that like when you when you have a table saw. Like when you have an actually good circle saw with a miter joint and then over there you've got like a, a high water pressure cutter and you have to learn to run CAD CAM software to do it like what you can do is like phenomenal but you've got to be in there with some discipline and some you know some whatever and it, it's not even discipline because this isn't an unruly space like a wiki this is a highly structured discourse forum that kind of unfolds by itself but getting people in there and all that takes some work which we haven't been able to do um, I, I kind of want to say that I want to go back a little bit to the money conversation and how to scaffold it, because I think there's a couple things happening there. And, and I really like the energy around it. And I love how Grace posted to the whole list and said, hey, kind of here's my project and here's what I'm trying to get done. 
And I think that there's kind of a grace thread inside of the larger money, value, currency, conversation, and thread. And discourse might be a great place to manifest those merely as sort of pieces of a, a, a forum section with some threads and some conversations that might actually make it kind of palpable what that's like, because there's things that could happen that are specific to Grace's initiative that I think a lot of OGMers might be interested in helping with and how that fits inside of the larger conversation is itself like really interesting, including what is the role of blockchain, blockchain, Bitcoin, NFTs, et cetera, et cetera, in, in, in this future and other kinds of threads uh, like that. So I'm, I'm interested very much in money as the opening for better scaffolding for a deeper discussion, because I don't see how to do what I just said easily using Mattermost. I think it's going to turn into, here's a channel and it's going to be a bunch of conversation. It's going to be like stepping into the locker room and hearing a bunch of people talking. Can I ask a question about? No. <laughs> I always want to say that when somebody says, can I ask a yeah, question yeah, yeah. when they're perfectly welcome to ask a question like, yes, please. Um, so the email chain is completely independent of any, this, that's just email. When, when something, when the conversations would be going on, because I have to confess, I thought that I was receiving email notifications of a conversation that was happening on the OGM forum for the longest time. And I, I've realized you know, that it wasn't that because I didn't see the activity on the forum when I went to look for it and then I never went to the forum again. And, but if there was some way for people who are only emailers to know that the, the discussion that was happening there was being mirrored you know, in some other place and recorded and therefore searchable, that would be awesome. So let people do their own thing. And like I say, I thought it was the other way around. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna read this email because I can always go back and read it on the forum. Um, this sounds like an interesting conversation. I'd like, to, I'd like to delve deeper. I wonder where it came from. And it's not that. Jay, Jay's gonna go. Um, so, so what, should we talk about this next week and hold on any action? <laughs> yeah, Jerry's lamenting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do we have a revival meeting or a funeral? Like, I, I'm totally torn. All right. Um, let's talk about it next week. If that's let's, okay. do, let's do that. That sounds great. Thank you for this. Yeah. Thanks, all. <laughs> Thank you.